Hello everybody, this is Theron. I'm going to do something a little different here. At the end of that of the last episode of uh, Chihuahua Land, we went back through this uh, nether portal into the nether, and we got attacked by the pigmen. And I don't entirely understand what happened. So we're trying to figure this out. So I pulled the clips into uh, into into Final Cut here, and I'm going to play through the the portion that's uh, important and uh, talk about it because the audio of the original is really just a bunch of yelling and, and swearing, and it's and it's not terribly usable. So, uh, so here here we go. So we're going to go. I'm going to step into. I'm sorry, the quality here is not great. We're scaling and plane and yeah this isn't this isn't great but um so we're about to step into the nether here and i had promised g that nothing was going to happen she was not going to die in the nether um and uh and that's exactly what happened so we we step in here and step out of the portal and then out of the portal again because we're having some lag and so i step around here and there's a gas, so I shoot at it. So here's what I'm thinking. That this shot here, I don't think this was the problem because of where the pigmen come from when they do get angry. So it goes over the hill, blah, blah, blah. So it's possible that I could have hit a pigman over there, but I don't think so. So then I jump up the hill and I shoot here, right? I shoot there. And for the most part, what's down the other side of that is Lava Lake. Or so I thought. Shoot, and that doesn't go. And then I'm thinking maybe this last one is it. But from this point, so we're, we're uh, 2556. Let me actually back up here to this last bit where I actually shot. So this shot here, 2255. So I jump up the hill and at this point, and you can actually see if you look down here on the left. So at this point, the pigmen are all fine. This guy here is, is neutral and all these guys around me are neutral. And we're six seconds later after that last shot. So I'm wondering if it came down and hit somebody over here, this might explain things. But then if you look at this guy right here, uh, step up and the sword starts to go up. This is the point at which they start grunting and making noise. So the only thing that makes sense to me is I shot somebody over here and I'm just now when I get to this point, stepping into his little aggro range and he sends out the call and gets everyone upset. If that's what happened. It makes sense. But so then they come and oh, now they're all angry and notice they're all coming from over here that's the reason why i suspect that might be what's going on um which is fine i mean it was kind of dumb of me to be lobbing arrows around after that gas i was just trying to get rid of it so now the thing is g is back over here she had not really come that far she was a little bit behind me but at this point they start attacking her which makes no sense, uh, at least not in my understanding. Now, I didn't realize pigmen could climb ladders. I thought I could climb up here and be safe, and this is uh, obviously not the case. So so I'm, tr I'm trying to get away here. Notice I don't actually attack them. I don't fight. So, and I try to get through the portal, and they come in and hit me out of it. So I'm like, oh, shoot. So I run past and try to get away up here. I'm completely defensive, and you see at this point, G is, uh, let me back up here. She gets killed by the, the, the pigmen while I'm standing in the portal, I think. So let's look here. So if it is, if they do, this is, so part of what I don't understand is why did they attack her? And then when she, uh, and, and I don't think she attacked them, so she might have tried to defend herself, 
which might have, have sort of prolonged the aggro. So I'm in the portal here. I'm backing up right now. Wait, did I hit them there? Okay, let's let's step forward now. So they attack me in the portal. She's killed right here. So this is 2340. So this is almost a minute. So this is 50 seconds, 50 uh 45 seconds after right am I, is my math correct there so 2255 to 2340 would be how long they've been aggressive and in theory that should be outside of the uh the forgiveness thing but let me i'm gonna hit play here and look at my sword did i accidentally hit one of them there i might have uh and just in a total freak out mode so the problem here is no, no, they're all completely frozen. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should eat to buy myself some more time. And of course, nothing's happening. And then, of course, they, and then, oh, and then the server decides to catch up. And I didn't have any blocks in my bar. So I was trying to put down the only blocks I had. And that's when they caught up with me and killed me like instantly. So uh, we don't think that G was attacking the pigmen. But I suppose it's possible. And then here's the other weird thing. So when she died, she was standing. She went back to the portal because I was telling her to go back through. And these guys are not aggressive. But they're part of the pack that killed her. So if they were, if it was all that they were aggressive towards me and they just attacked her for some reason, they should still be aggro towards me because the death of the player does not eliminate the aggro and they were in an unloaded chunk because they were in the overworld here and she died in the nether and her stuff scattered into the portal so then it came through the 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 portal into the overworld so these guys should still be on their cooldown timer i i just don't understand what happened here so if anybody has any ideas um about why they would attack g when they were aggro at me if that's even possible why they wouldn't still be aggro at me after this and yeah and and how far because their aggro range is uh, the wiki says it's like somewhere up to I don't know, 111 blocks or something so it's entirely possible i could have shot out of range and then um and then walked into it i guess i just didn't think that the pigmen happened that way so here i actually because i thought this was all glitch i i put the game into peaceful well, he just went back into the nether um not game mode but difficulty come on you can do it <laughs> yeah that's not gonna work okay so when i figure it out i put it into peaceful mode just to get rid of all the pigmen and make sure the nether is clear and the reason i did that was because i didn't want I didn't want G's sort of that experience to be the reason why she would just refuse to ever go into the nether again. And if the pigmen were going to be kind of constantly aggro there, it would make it difficult to justify, you know, convince her that it was okay. Uh, so, so some of her stuff was in here. So I picked it all up and then I went up and found where my stuff was. Um, so anyway, if anyone has any ideas, I just, I really don't understand. Uh, so I'm just, I've been going through the footage to try and figure it out. Uh, it's just, it's just weird. Uh, and, and obviously, I mean, it was probably me shooting one of the pigmen at a distance and then walking into their aggro range. And obviously it's not a good idea, not something I should be doing. Oh, and where that compass came from, I don't know. I don't think my stuff could have scooted around the corner and down the ladder, but maybe it did. Um, so anyway, that's all. I'm just putting this up there so I could understand what happened so we don't do it again um so anyway thanks for watching this is a little short bonus um and uh woohoo stuff fell all the way down there it just went all over the place so uh yeah so that's that's that um thanks for watching and uh we'll see you in the next episode all right bye